I don't think I ever had an opportunity to play with professional musicians as an undergrad. This kind of um, regular interaction uh, between guest artists and students, this is, this is unique. You get to learn so much in that way just from the interaction of doing it. The learning curve is so much steeper than just getting told what to do in a lesson or asked to practice something in a certain way like you actually have to produce on the level that professionals are playing on. that we're able to have um, with these collaborations with students, returning students, guest artists and faculty together are, are really high level. Um, so in that way I think we are presenting concerts that the audiences can equally enjoy as a regular residency. Being invited back is really exciting because I get to see what the School of Music is like now and how much it's changed since I was a student here, and how much there are things that still have stayed the same, you know, um, our passion for chamber music and passion for teaching, and uh, it's fun to connect with the students now and kind of being on the, on the outside now, having graduated and gone through this program at ECU, it's neat to interact with the students and talk about my experience here and learn about how the school is growing. Oftentimes our teachers are very helpful but they're a little bit farther apart in age than we are. So talking to someone who's maybe only three or four years older than you is really good because they're dealing with the same types of issues that you will probably deal with. You know, you raise your level and it's, it's a good experience because you kind of play at a level you didn't uh, necessarily know that you had. One of the really cool things about Next Gen on the Road is we get to take all the work that we've done here in Greenville preparing for the concert to other places. To play in Virginia Beach or Norfolk, um, to play in Winston-Salem, and to bring what we do to these communities, to bring them to the students in Norfolk. Uh, we've been working with the students at the Governor's School, being able to show them what we do with our students at ECU. This I find as an administrator very exciting because it's putting the word out, this is a way to get potential students to have interaction with the kind of thing that's going on here at ECU. Yeah, and I, it's, it's one thing to be able to tell them about it or to see something on the website. It's quite another to, to be out there and um, actually see it happen. It, it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't like so intense that you, you didn't like it. Everybody seems like to know, to like what they're doing here, which is really cool, I think. The different steps of uh, also rehearsals, you learn how to rehearse things and uh, how can it be effective and then how, you, what we should be concentrating on the first or second or the third rehearsal or the run through before the concert. I really enjoyed having the opportunity to perform more than once in front of multiple audiences because it gives you perspective on how audiences can change and settings can change. Playing for such a receptive and high energy audience really uh, makes you think about the role and the whole meaning of being a performing artist. You have all these artists coming in and they're coming from you know concerts that they played just that past weekend. We're going to interact with them in this way which is amazing and it's great and it's such a great experience for us to interact with these professionals in this way. One of the cool things about Next Generation is that when we're in Greenville we have the opportunity to work with our teachers and guest artists but then when we go on the road, it's also cool because then we're the mentor for students and we get to help them in that experience. Next Generation Concerts and our Next Gen on the Road project is one of the coolest things that we do with the festival. From an energy standpoint, the fact that we can work with our students here at ECU in such a, in such a close way, the fact that we can bring what we do to other communities, that we can bring what we do to other teachers, to other students, all of these things together are something that uh, I, as a part of the festival, certainly look forward to building on into the future. Next Gen on the Road concerts are something that are going to help tie all of this together and help the festival continue to develop into the future. Mm -hmm.